This is the plaintiff, Tashika Sample. She says her ex-boyfriend, the defendant, destroyed her car with an axe while she was at home, freaking out her neighbors and causing her car to be totaled. She's still making payments on the car. The man has anger issues that need to be professionally dealt with, and she's here suing him for the $3,000 she's owed. This is the defendant, Rodney Williams. He says the plaintiff can say whatever she wants about him because it's a free country, but none of it is true. The woman set him up by calling him and telling him to come over because she missed him. And then she had three guys attack him with baseball bats. These thugs put him in the hospital, and the plaintiff had him arrested for violating a restraining order she got without his knowledge. Now she's suing him? Come on. He's accused of whacking a car. The defendant is filed a candlestick for $3,000 for theft and pain and suffering. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the dock of the plaintiff says her ex-boyfriend destroyed her car with an ax, but he says that she set him up and her thug friends beat him to a pulp. It's the case of ax and you'll get sued. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, okay, Tashika Sample, yes. you are suing your former boyfriend, Rodney Williams. <laughs> For $3,000, 2000 of it, damage you say he did to your vehicle, 1000 for pain and suffering. You have a counterclaim against her for theft and pain and suffering. What happened? Um, I've been with, I was with this gentleman for almost nine years. Um, we had our ups and downs. And did you have children together? No children. Okay. But on uh, October, starting in October, we started having a lot of problems. Um, he began... After I put him out of my home, he began coming to my home, banging on the door, just harassing me. Um, 10-15 was the day that I placed a restraining order on him. Okay. He um, came what to my home. What was the restraining order for? Because he kept coming to your house? He, he kept, kept coming to, stop? to my home, <clears throat> just harassing me. Uh, days later, um, he came to my home again and... Does he say anything? Nothing like. Uh, What's he saying? What's he doing there? What's he say? He's, he's hey, there to say something. What's going so on? Um, I'm so not just trying to get you I'm to saying, talk like, to him. what you doing here? Um, I could be here. Uh, Is he flirting? Is he trying yeah, to? He's trying yeah, to get. Okay, he's so trying, trying to get, to get, get you to talk to him. Okay, yeah, pretty Good. much. So I'm telling him no. You know, start screaming and hollering. People hear me screaming and hollering. They come and they start fighting him. He gets like. Wait, up. why are you screaming and hollering? Because we. He was trying to hit me, attack me. Wait, you skipped all that. Because the last I heard, he was saying, hey, what you doing? I can be here. Th and then next thing you know, people are, are hitting him. Why are people hitting him? No, I said, after I after that talk right there, right. us talking, me and him started arguing. Like, I'm arguing with him, trying to get him out of my home. Okay. And people What's outside, this mean when you like, say arguing? Like, grabbing, like tussling. Okay. Because he was trying to come up the steps. Okay. So we're tussling. I'm trying to get him out of my home. See how big he is yeah. compared to me. Yeah. So I'm hollering. There's gentlemen outside, men, where I live at. <clears throat> they hear me screaming, you know, arguing with him. So they come to help me. Right. Get him out the house. How do they help you? They start fighting him because he was fighting on me. With weapons? Yeah. What kind of weapons? Bats. So they beat him with the bats. He was arrested that day. What did you get arrested for that day? Did you? I was arrested, but it was for violating a restraining order. That uh, I had, so there was a restraining order in effect? But I hadn't even been served with a restraining order. Okay, now apparently they had served it in your home, but they had served it on someone who you says has dementia and never gave it to you. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so you go over there for what purpose that day? I went over there. Can I backtrack? Yeah. Okay. She steals $200 out of my wallet. When did she steal $200 out of your wallet? This was maybe um, three or four days before this whole, this, this incident even took How do you place. know she stole $200 out of your wallet? I woke up until two hundred dollars was in my wallet. Okay. Did you say anything to her then? Yes, I did. On what'd she say? She didn't take it. Okay. Did you call the police that day? No, I didn't. Okay. You've already told me about the money okay. and the wallet. Now so, I want you to tell me what happened at the door. She texts me. I miss you. What are you doing? Can, Can you come I see over the to text? My house? Yes. Did you text him that day and tell him how you missed him? No, I did not. Okay. She texts me. So I'm I'm laying in my bed sleeping. This is um weird. This, this is on ten twenty three. In the morning. So on the 23rd, according to him, you send at 917, that's what's up. W-Y-D, what's that mean? What are you doing? What are you doing? I miss you. 
Never mind. Tony just came over. Can you wait? Where, is, where are your answers? Why is it just one? It sounds like there's a conversation and that most we're, of it's- Because we're speaking. There was texts and there were- Well, we're usually speaking. when there's a text, there's a text response. Where's your responses? Where are they here? Okay. So go on. So according so, to you, she so set you up. Then what, you go over there. What happens is she sets me up. I come over there. I'm looking at her. She, I say- What are you saying to her? What's up, babe? How you doing? She looks at me. I see some guy run up the steps. And I see another dude come from behind the door and say, hey, what's up, R.D.? What's up now? And he runs out with a baseball bat. Three dudes, so three dudes run out with baseball bats. So I'm running. They chase me what down. What do they have against you? You know these guys or not? I don't know these dudes. I, it, was, it happened that quick. So why would three guys get, start chasing you with baseball bats? There has to be a reason. Your guess is as good as mine, Your Honor. Well, but she invited me over there. But if she invites you over there, because I she wants no you to buy a restraining, restraining order, order. she'd have no the police around, not three guys with bats. So I had no idea there was a restraining order in effect. So that's why there was a violation of the restraining order. What did these guys order. end up doing to you with the bats? They catch you? Yes. And what'd they do? They hit me with the baseball bats. Did you, what were your injuries? Um, I had injuries to my knees. My, did I you end had, up in the hospital? Yes. Did you stay overnight? No. Did they take x-rays and make sure nothing was broken? They took x-rays, but I got locked up. I was locked up for like a week. What were you locked up for? Violation of the restraining order? Violation of the restraining order. What ended up happening with that charge? They still haven't been resolved So yet. it's still pending? Yes. Does your lawyer know you're here? Yes. Okay. According to you, and this is why you're here, after this event, mm -hmm. somebody took an ax to your car. Yes. Tell me about that. One day in November, I hear an alarm go off. Uh, boom. Boom, that's, that's what I hear. I look out the window. My neighbor's downstairs. He like, I'm like, Donnie, is that my boy? I mean, is that my car? He like, yeah, that's your ex-boyfriend, and he's running with an ex. I run outside. I see him hop into the car. So now I'm going over to my car to see the damage on the pictures? vehicle. Yes. The neighbor who says he saw him do it, is yes. he here to testify? No. But it, it was a lot of witnesses. Like, they, oh, no, no, you can't just come to court and say, trust me, there's lots of witnesses. No, I, I'd like I, to hear from I the witnesses. I called the police. They, they have the... Are, is there, um, are there police reports yes, with witness statements yes. in them? May I it's, please have it, them? It doesn't have witness statements, but it says the officer states that Let me several... See, I'd like to see the, the police report and the pictures. Okay. The police report, I left at home. But I do have a picture of, of the what? police report. But I just wanted to let you know that I had the Did police report. Did you go report. to her house... And axe up her car? No, you are. Good Lord. What kind of car is this? Toyota Camry. What year? 01. And I still owe money. And this on happened the car. on what day in relation to the bat? It should. November the 7th, because I have the police. So report. about 9 15 in the two morning. Two weeks after the bats. Yes. Did you find, uh, where's the police report? It's all, it's in there. I'll give it to you. Yeah, I can't oh. read that. I'm sorry. Okay, because if I stretch it out, it's all blur. So that's not working for me. Okay. So you have evidence and it's great evidence and it's uh, all these other, the police officers talking about how all these people say they saw him. It's the whole case. And you leave it at home. It's insane. Oh, I feel real dumb about that because pretty, once I looked at insane. my paperwork. How do you feel about dating a guy for nine years where this is where you end up? How do you feel Ooh, about that? Oh, man. Terrible. Because I tried, I tried to be with him. He, has a, he had a drug addiction problem. I don't know if he still has it, but he had one. And throughout the nine years that we were together, I, was a, I went through a lot. Um, he choked me. He grabbed me by my hair. A whole lot of stuff happened. I asked him if he could just stop doing drugs, and then maybe me and him could be together. But it, it's like the drugs is, he loved the drugs more than he loved me. I tell you. You don't look good when you, when you smoke it or this and that, but you still continue to do it. Did you want you to wanna know why to we don't wanna, I don't wanna have sex with you? Because you don't look good to me anymore. And it hurts, it hurts. It really, really hurts because I loved him. Regardless of all the stuff that he put me through, I loved him. Did you wanna to respond to this? I don't wanna respond to that. Anybody that has you physically assaulted I have no response to You that. put me on Facebook, naked pictures. No response. Then I see you, it's videos of you and other females the whole time that we was together. This is what I mean by all the stuff that I've been through for nine years with him. 
Is there someone at your home that can fax this report here? Uh, uh, I don't know. If you didn't leave already, I know my my. I'm gonna take a now. recess. I want to give you a chance to see this. I want to see it. I'm dying to see it. All right. All What's rise. All rise. Okay, now a simple question: Should exes try and be friends after breaking up? I don't think so. Why? I think there's too much emotionality involved, and you were close at one time. It just there's too many feelings. What do you say? Gets too complicated. Never works out right. And yes. Yes, they should try. Yes. Really? Yes. Even if it's a bad breakup? Yes. Really? Okay. <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. You've provided into evidence of police support that you were telling me would substantiate that there were witnesses who saw him uh, taking an ax to the car. But in reality, what the police report says is this, that you say there are witnesses who saw him. And were you ever arrested on the damage to the car? No, Your Honor. When you were arrested for the <coughs> violation of the restraining order, that was on October 15th? 23rd, Your Honor. October 23rd, that's right, I'm sorry. October 23rd. And how long did, were you in? A uh, week. And then one week later, her, her car, somebody takes an ax to it? But it's not you? Because you kind of have a motive, don't you? And according to her, you have a history of violence. Have you ever been convicted of a crime? Of a crime? Yeah, yes. Okay. What was the crime? Assault. What kind of assault? Stabbing. On her? No. Okay. On? I'm on my cousin. What? He stabbed his cousin about five or six years ago. Did he die? Uh, no, but he was injured. <sighs> I have a question for you. Yes, Your Honor. It's a very simple question. Yes, Your Honor. I realize that she walks in here she claims that there's witnesses who saw it, and she brings me no witnesses. I wait for the police report, and the police report just says that you say there are witnesses. That's not <coughs> helpful. But I have a question for you. If not you, then who? Who has that kind of venom against her to take an ax to her car when we know you have a violent tendency, we know that you've already had a confrontation at her front doorstep that results in people chasing you with baseball bats to get you away, uh, or to get you, because what actually happened is that they got him. They weren't trying to get him away. They were a, trying to get that him. Was, that was a setup, okay. Your Honor. You, so you say, I'd like to see in your phone the text with your answers. And instead what I have is a, freeze, a, a frozen frame that, you know. I would like to know what number. That, but that, by the way, in case I haven't said it out loud, that anybody can make up. Tell Somehow. me about your counterclaim against her. You're suing her for $3,000 for pain and suffering and theft. The theft, I think we went over, which is, according to you, $100 was missing from your wallet 200. one morning when you woke up next to her. And what was the pain and suffering? That was from when she had me, set me up and had me jumped at her house. Yeah, I need the evidence of that because she says she didn't. All right, I've heard enough. Just stop, everybody stop, I've heard enough. I want to I wanna take a shower. I want to get out of this <laughs> courtroom. I don't want it. This yeah. is not my world and I don't want it to be my world. Yeah. It's time for you and I think you've reached that point of your life. Yeah. You know, I don't know how much of an angel you are. I'm not suggesting I'm not, that she is. I'm not. I'm just telling you, listen up. You're done. Mm -hmm. You're done. Okay, because you can't get these nine years back. I know. Okay, but you can get the rest of your life back. I know. So it's up to you what you want to do about it. I'm moving. All right? And you need to understand you're done. Do you understand? I've been done there. Good. Good. Because there's nothing there for you. It's done. It's, it's, it's extinguished. There's nothing. Nothing for you there. So you're both young. Move on and make lives with the next people. Mm -hmm. As far as what is in front of me, I find in your favor on the damage to the car. I am ordering you to pay her $2,000, not three. That's the blue book value of the car. The 1,000 for pain and suffering, I am not ordering. We choose who we spend nine years with. On um, your lawsuit against her for theft, you never even call the police about that. This is something that just like comes up now after all the thousands of other things that happen. For pain and suffering, because according to you, she set it up, I don't see sufficient evidence that that's in fact what occurred. Wild. That's my verdict. Um, wait, Good luck, folks. Well, unfortunately, that last bit of evidence, not quite enough to ID her as, as that individual like you would, would have liked. So what's your reaction to this whole case here now? Um, she set me up to have me jumped, and it's just a bad situation that went even worse. Right. If that's the case, uh, what's the best thing to do for, at this point? Walk away. Right. And that's the judge's advice, too. There's nothing there. And you take that as good advice from the judge? Great advice. You, you'll act on that. Okay. All right. Good luck to you. Head right, head right down there. All right, step on in here and 
All right, so uh, are you satisfied how this comes yes, out? Yes, I am. Yes, What's I'm very this satisfied. been like for you? Uh, it's been crazy. It's been crazy for me. You think you've heard the end of this? Yes, the end I of have. Him? I've been heard the end. Done? Yes. You don't expect to see him anymore? No, I hope not. Okay, Harvey. Okay, this is simple. If an ex really starts to harass you in a serious way, get a restraining order. It works. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.